Okay, the first question is for, uh, is for Dr. Lennox, and it is, excuse me, Professor Lennox. How do you explain the similarities between organized religions, and why do you feel that the Christian faith is in some way more viable than the others? That's a question for me? Yes, indeed. How do I explain the similarities between organized religions? I think that when we look around the world, there are various aspects to any given religion. And one of the very important ones is the moral aspect. And as has been pointed out by many people, if you look around the world, you find a common moral pool. In fact, you mentioned this in your book, a common moral pool that people of all faiths or none will respond very similarly to the same kind of moral questions. Now, to me, the explanation for that is the one I've just given, that each person is a moral being made in the image of God. And therefore, as I look around the world, I would expect, whether people believe in God or not, that they have a roughly similar morality. So there are similarities at that level. But then you will get very big differences when it comes particularly to the question of the basis for a relationship with God. And that tends to diverge. There are some religions that's, that say that a relationship with God must be based on human merit. And as many probably know, Christianity says the exact opposite, that the relationship with God comes through trusting Christ because um, of, of what he did uh, through his cross uh, and resurrection, and is not merit, but is a gift. I don't know whether you want me to expand further on that, but that's basically you, you, you've got You've got a bit of time, both of you do. If, if you, you, what you was can the take second a part of the question again? Just What's repeat. so special about Christianity? Yes, what, what distinguishes Christianity? What, what, uh, excuse me, why do you feel that the Christian faith is in some way more viable than the oh, other religions? I, I see, well, I, I think for me the question is, very aware of Richard sitting here to my right, is, is whether it's true or not. And Christ claimed to be the way, the truth, and the life, and either that's absurd nonsense or else it's true. Now, I'm convinced it is true. Why is it true? Well, if we take the three great monotheistic religions and their attitude to Christ, we'll find that one of them believes that he died and didn't rise. The other believes that he didn't die. And Christianity believes that he both died and rose again. Now, that's something that I feel that we can access by history. The second point is this, and it's probably the most important point. It's that it seems to me in a way that Christianity is not competing with other religions. Let me try and explain that. Because as I understand the New Testament, what Christ offers me is something that no other religion offers me. Many religions offer me a very uh, a path, a moral path to follow, which may be excellent. But what Christianity offers me is a radical diagnosis, which some people react against. The, the fact that I find myself uh, disjointed, I find myself I don't even keep my own standards and so on. And I find also that the relationship with God has been broken, and there is need for repair, there's need for forgiveness. Now, in Christ, in his death and resurrection, I find that there's an adequate basis for forgiveness so that I can be certain of my relationship with God and know it. Now, I don't find that anywhere else. I find wonderful morality and all the rest of it. And I think it's very important that we respect people of other faiths. But if you ask me what makes the difference, that's the central one. There are many others.